Hey everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101 where we give you fun new rock painting ideas that anybody can create. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you do, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get painting. I've got my sheet of paper over here. I am going to share with you a little trick for creating bubble letters. I'm going to use quite a few letters today, but if you want to do bubble letters in the future and it's not like a letter that I'm showing you, what I like to do to create my bubble letters is have an idea of the shape before I'm going onto my stone, especially if I'm going right on the stone. Uh, so what I do is I write out my, my word here. So we're going to do happy holidays. I like to use capital letters um, when I do bubble letters. Holly days. And I don't like to have letters drop below. So I kind of want everything to fit together like this. So like my Y, I'm going to pull up so that I can have that Y in the same um, horizontal line. So once you see your letters like this, then you can kind of create this bubble look to them. Now, when you're doing bubble letters, you don't have gaps between like your vertical lines. So we're going to start by splitting that in half, come up and around like that and split the side in half too. So then you kind of go like that. All right. So you've got your basic H just by doing that. And then you can give just a little kind of dimple, I guess you could say, on either side of that horizontal line. Now I'm using my paint pens today, which are very forgiving when doing your bubble letters, because if you do kind of mess up, maybe you make your line a little too big, you can easily take whatever color you did your letter with first and color back over the line a little bit. Now same with letters that have a circle in the middle. We never have an actual circle in the middle of a bubble letter. You just kind of create like this little dimple kind of like that, and then you'll have the, the line that goes around, okay? Um, L would be kind of like that, my I, just like that. Same with a D, there'd be kind of a dimple in the middle. I do like my letters to touch. Now with an A, you kind of go up and around like that, a little dimple in the middle, and then our Y, like this, and like that, okay? So we've got a basic idea of our bubble letters. Now, as you'll see, when I take this design to the rock as well, um, I start by drawing my letters out like I did here. I always start this way because it helps with your spacing a little bit. If you go straight to your rock trying to do these big bulky letters, sometimes you might end up halfway across, you know, all the way over here and you're only on, you know, I, and then you got to try to squeeze in D-A-Y. So I like to kind of lay out my lettering. So I'm gonna start with that one, see, and also you can kind of see gauge. So size wise, I'm doing okay here. That should fit on my rock. So I can kind of keep that in mind as I'm going onto my stone. I don't like to use pencil on my white stones too much. Sometimes that lead gets pulled into your paint pen. I've done it in the past. Um, you can just do a second layer of the paint pen over, but I don't wanna do that. So. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna do Christmas on this one in green since I did it in red on this one. So I'm gonna do my letters for the holiday, happy holidays in red. So let's get started here. And if you were saying hi while I was going through all that, sorry, hello, welcome in. All right, so make sure your paint pen's running well. So I like to split my words. So the I is actually the middle letter on here in the word holiday. So I'll, I'm gonna put that down first. Um, that always helps me when I'm doing my spacing to do the center letter first, okay? And then we're gonna go D, A, Y, okay? And then L, O. And you can make, I mean, I like to have the first letter of my word sometimes bigger. There we go. So we got holiday on the rock. Okay, so once we've got it on there, now we're going to bubble it all up. Now, when you're doing it with your actual color, you're going to lose a lot of your letter. You're going to see that. Uh, it's the lining when we go back with our black that really makes the letters pop again, okay? So, like, our D is going to be completely filled in all the way, right? And then we're going to make it bulkier around the outside, too. So... It kind of looks a little sloppy without the lining, but that's why I like to do my kind of little cheat sheet. So you can do one little section at a time, like you can go along this part of the A, and then you can kind of go along this part of the A, 
like that, and then you can bring them closer together. Same with the Y. You can kind of go along the shapes to help you kind of keep track of where you're at. Because it's going to start looking really super thick lettering, basically, is what it looks like before we get our lining on there. And I, like I said, I like my, my letters to touch. You will get a little bit of thickness from your lining, so they don't actually have to touch touch, but you want to get them pretty close together. And I'm just filling them in solid. I got a couple little divots in my stone here. So I'm gonna get down in there as well as I can. Okay. And then our O is going to be completely filled in. And then you can kind of adjust that outline, however big or small you want your O to be. And you can toggle your letter sizes too. Like you could do some of your letters bigger than others, some of them, you know, small. So I'm going to turn this so I don't accidentally put my finger where it's wet. So for like these H's, I'm going to do like two. I mean, think of those long skinny balloons that, you know, they blow up at carnivals and stuff. That's basically what we're doing, we're making these long skinny balloons. Okay. Just like that. And we're going to give this a couple seconds to dry. And while it's doing that, I'm going to add on some of the circles for like these little ornaments. Now, when I did this first one, I was just going to do like dots around like I did with my bubble letter um, rocks I did before. But then I decided, oh my gosh, these look like ornaments. So I started doing the lines, making lines all the way through the letterings. I don't like how they ended up at the bottom like that. So I'm not going to put any at the bottom. Um, but I am going to put quite a few around because we've got a lot of extra space on this stone. So I've got plenty of space to work with to add on quite a few of these little ornaments. And I could have pulled out some bigger paint pens, but this will be just fine. So we're gonna do a couple bigger ones, and then we'll come in and do some smaller ones of both colors. And then we'll get the lining down on those letters, which is really what makes bubble letters like pop and work. So let's do, and it's fun to have the strings though um, overlapping slightly. So it's okay, like if the center is like, I like having some of them, see how this one kind of snuck behind, you know, that's okay. Gives it a little bit of depth and dimension. And I like doing these because they're, they're pretty forgiving too, as far as putting your dots down. Cause you can just, if your circle doesn't look like a circle, you can make it just a little bit bigger to even out your edges a little bit. All right, where's my lid? All right, so now we're just gonna come in. Maybe I'll do this one red and gold instead of red and green. Because I have my gold out here, so let's do that, because I think that'll be fun. So let's do a few gold ornaments. Only thing with the gold, I have to tell you, and I don't know if it's just the post going, it's a little bit, um, watery like looser so just keep that in mind just it's harder to get super fine lines to me with the with the gold but it still dries pretty quick let's see let's put one right over here Yeah, we'll have plenty of time to dry before we hit the line it anyways. Because we'll be doing our lettering. There we go. Do, 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 do. Okay. My letters look pretty dry, so now we're going to go through and get our outlines in. Hello, Jenny. You did. You made it. I haven't gotten to the lining part, so... <laughs> This is the, um, like, this is probably the hardest part for a lot of people when they do their bubble letters is the actual lining part. Um, it's funny because like the S over here, the S is one of the trickiest letters, but I have two of them in my name and I used to do bubble letters 
on everything because I I grew up in the age where we covered all of our school books with the paper sacks and you could draw all over them. So I put my name on all my books. So I had a lot of bubble letter practice. <laughs> all right, we're going to start with our H here. Okay, so remember, we did our cheat sheet here. So, you know, we're going to do a couple little vertical lines to get that uh, H on there. Did you do the same thing? I, I really enjoyed that. That was like my little creative outlet. I, my book covers were doodled. I'm sure you guys can all imagine like crazy. Now, I do have this tiny little divot here that I'm going to really be careful not to to hit okay so you can make your vertical line basically anywhere and then we're going to do our sides of our H okay and then we'll do our O here. Get, it's like a little dimple in the middle. And then our L. And this is what I was talking about. When you do your outline, like right here, these aren't touching quite yet. Um, I'll probably get those touching here. I might have to come back and add a little bit to fill. I think I'm going to make that a little bit wider with the eye. We'll get some red in there to fill. But see when I come and do my D outline, see how those are touching now? So the actual color inside doesn't necessarily have to touch. You can get those outlines together. Happy holiday. Makes me want to sing the song I won't sing. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go, well, maybe I'll give this one more second. Okay, so remember how I told you these are really forgiving. So, like, I dashed my A not the way I normally do, and I don't like that. So, as soon as that's dry, I can fix it. Uh, but you can really get in and take your, your red or whatever color your letters are in here and kind of... Uh, fix little errors and mistakes. Now these dry so fast. That's why I love working with them on these lives. So I can get this red right into that crease like that. And if your outline seems thick to you anywhere, you can kind of get right up next to that outline and thin it out a little bit. Like right here, my L, I like overlapped just slightly when I was doing it. So I can come back in here and just bring that red right into that corner just to take that edge off just a little bit. Um, so I'm going to go right over the top of that black line on my A. Sometimes it will take more than one coat. You're covering black. Uh, so I'm going to do that now. So it has a second to dry. I want my dimple to go the same way as the dimple on my, my O and my D. I don't know why I did that opposite. And I don't like, see my Y? See how I kind of ended up curving to the side slightly? I'm not really a fan of that. So we're going to go like this. And then we'll add that line back in in a second. So let's give those a second to dry and then we'll do our touch-ups. I'm just gonna outline my circles up here for my little ornaments. And I have a hard time going all the way around. So I usually tend to do kind of a forward C and a backward C. Same with the ornaments. If your um, outline is too thick, you don't like it as thick you can always bring the color out to the edge. That one got, looks like a got crazy on me. So I'm going to fix the outline of that and I'll come back in with my gold to refill it. That doesn't even look like a circle at all. I don't know how that got so off. Okay. 
Maybe it was talking when I outlined it. That looks a little bit better. We'll just let it be. Okay, so now we're going to come back. That looks dry. So we're going to come back and do our little A. There we go. Now I do want the black outlines to dry before I use my, um, I'll use post-its to make my lines for my ornaments. And we gotta do our highlights. Those are a big thing. So let me actually, I'm bouncing all over here. But this one looks really wonky to me too. I need to talk less when I'm lining, maybe. <laughs> okay, I'll let that dry a little bit too. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and do the highlights on my letters themselves because that really brings that bubbly look to it to do the highlights. So I like to, I forgot to finish my way. I like to use the same kind of positioning for the little highlights. As you can see here, I kind of did the upper right hand corner of each letter or piece that's upward. Like the H has two, because there's two little things. That's optional, obviously. Like all of our tutorials, I always tell you guys, I guess I haven't said it today, these are jumping off points, okay? So you see this tutorial say, oh, I can do bubble letters and make it say whatever you want. That's why I showed you like my breakdown of how I kind of get the idea of what the bubble letter lining should look like because you may want to make like a personalized rock for somebody as a gift. You could do their name and you could alternate like the letters red and green if it's like a holiday special gift or something, um, something they can kind of put out in their holly, holiday decor every year. Going right on top of that black, so this is probably going to need a second coat. But... Okay. That outline that one looked a little off to me too okay I mean, love this is the best part about live you guys can see like constantly second guessing myself and fixing mistakes I've been painting rocks for years and I still make mistakes all the time <laughs> but you guys can hear my thought process moving through those mistakes so all right we're gonna go ahead and do our highlights I like to do a dash and a dot so I you can kind of start like the top center and you just kind of go down, dash, dot. Just like that and we'll do them inside of our Ornaments too, this one's still very wet and I still need a second coat on that one. But you kind of want to keep the highlights coming from the same direction because technically a highlight would be coming from a light source. So that's why I try to kind of stay somewhat consistent um, with things like that. Okay, that one I gotta do a second coat. That one's still wet. But we're gonna go ahead and do some of our lines for our ornaments. So we can kind of pull this together. And I still have to write happy. Happy holiday. Uh, so that's a good thing I left the space there for that, right? Okay, so I'm just doing capital letters here. Um, H-A-P-P-Y. I'm uh, H A. So the P's in the middle, so I'm going to do the P first. And again, I'm going to do the same thing with my Y, so I don't have to worry about like dropping it down lowercase wise. And if you struggle with lettering, I'm telling you, this breaking words into 
sections, like you're putting your center letter down first. Like I have the hardest time. If I just started with the H, like sometimes I just run out of space. It happens to me all the time. If you're really worried about it, you can sketch it out on your piece of paper first. Again, like if it fits on the paper, like we're pretty close. Like I knew size wise, my letters need to be close to that for them to fit onto the rock. So for our um, ornaments, if you watched the live last week where we did our little Christmas ornaments, I gave this tip. So if it's repetitive to you, that's okay, but not everybody was on that live. The thickness of your pen is going to change where your line goes. You want your lines going down into the center of your ornament. So give yourself a little dot. Like that's the center top of my ornament. Then bring something in. I've got post-it notes. These are flat rocks, so I don't really need a post-it note for this. But if you're working on a round rock, these work great for keeping your straight line. You can kind of press it in. But you want your center and then bring whatever you're using for your ruler up to the dot and then go up, okay? If you try to just place this, your paper in the center and then bring your pen, you're gonna end up off to the side, the thickness of your pen. So place your pen first and then bring this over. So this is gonna end up right behind that one. Turn this around because I don't wanna place on top. My gold is still just a smidge wet there, so I'm just gonna let that one be for now. And also when you go along the, the side of this, you wanna give it a second to dry off or take your finger, see that little bit that got on there? You don't wanna accidentally like stamp on top of your other stuff. So see, this is gonna have just a little bit of dampness sometimes. Okay, I've got a divot, so I gotta be extra light touch to get past that, there we go. I'm going to go back in and do that gold one in just a smidge, a couple of seconds here. It's getting pretty close to dry, but. Okay, and then I'm just going to do little bows on top of each one of my ornaments. Uh, you could do bow, bows. You could leave them just like this if you like that look, just like that. I just like the little bows um, like we did on our live last week. Just gonna put the bow on top of this one. I'm gonna go back in that one with the red. Okay, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, red inside of this one. Just a couple more touch-ups here and we are gonna be done. Um, so if you have any questions about anything, hold on just a second, I'll kinda peek up here. Let me get this red filled back in. We'll get a highlight on that one. I can get a highlight on that gold one now. It looks pretty dry. Let's see, I wonder how long we, I don't know how to check. I used to be able to see how long I've been on. Let's see, 25 minutes. So with all my chatting in between stuff too. So that's how, I mean, you probably have done a couple of these at the same time too. Um, this would be a good one to kind of do in batches because you could kind of place things down and then pop over to your next rock. There we go. Um, use the hack. If you want to do a different word, it's the easiest way to go about doing it is to just write out the, the letters um, in single line super basic lettering. Oh, I'm glad you love this one. Yes, if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I believe there's a way by hitting like the three buttons to turn on notifications for live. I'm not going live as much as I used to. Um, heading into the holiday season is super busy. I know you all can relate to that. I don't see any questions. If I miss any, I promise to come through and reply to them. Thank you to everybody that stopped in and said hi and all the thumbs ups and everything um, and watching the replay. I will be back soon. I hope you give this one a try. Bye-bye.